Uh, the world cannot develop without a continued emphasis on science and technology. And if we try and stand still, we're in trouble. So we have to move forward. And I think placing it on the agenda of the G20 is absolutely essential. And I think China is correct to bring innovation as a discussion item into the G20. Overall, China has, as you know, stressed that it wants to, you know, put in this aspect of innovation. You know, it wants to ensure that it is, you know, invigorating or raising the bar on actions, including on structural reforms. It wants to focus on interconnectedness, including on trade and investment. And it wants to make sure that the growth is inclusive. So I think those, that's a nice thematic way to, inter, you know, to link all the agenda items. But then from here, what China will have to do with the G20 is to say what then are the concrete deliverables. Unless you have social acceptance for the new path and environmental sustainability, we cannot possibly reach economic prosperity. China's role in focusing on policies that promote innovation as a driver for their growth is uh, very important, particularly if this innovation can be seen to be environmentally sustainable and socially acceptable. And how to achieve such innovation will be a big challenge. The Chinese presidency. So my expectations for China um, are high because of this broad agenda of complementary issues that uh, China has brought into the G20 agenda. And it comes at a critical time uh, in, in history and therefore I believe uh, China is well placed to make a strong mark. Well, I think it's very important what China is doing, placing innovation at the center of the G20, because innovation is now placed at the center of the Chinese domestic policy. Uh, and now this has become a, an agenda for the world at the G20. This is extremely important. Um, the problem is that we still have a major financial crisis and a lot of threats on the horizon that can, de that can destabilize that type of a development, but the directionality of where it's going is absolutely essential. Uh, the world cannot develop without a continued emphasis on science and technology. Uh, we have certain limits to what we can do with our present technology, and if we try and stand still, we're in trouble. So we have to move forward, and I think placing it on the agenda of the G20 is absolutely essential. So the new source of global economic growth is actually going to be pretty similar to the existing sources of global economic growth. Innovation is actually a process that has been happening for many centuries. It is something that uh, will continue to happen, and economies will need to adjust to that. The actions which governments have, the policy toolkits they have, can, you can think of in broadly in three main areas, and that's fiscal policy, related to fiscal policy of structural reform, uh, um, and the third is monetary policy settings. And those are, the st are still going to be the toolkits that governments are going to rely on when they, uh, when they come to try to spur growth. This, is ha going, uh, this happened in all the uh, traditional economy um, industries today. These are going to be the, um, the, the same tools that will be used in managing innovative, new industries as well.